All right, jumping into a brand new tournament again for Besaid Waterfall Workout. Going against the Goers, Fangs vs. Glories. All right, gonna see if we can win. Gonna see what we can do. Probably gonna give this to Bada. I mean, at this point, um, with a Besaid Waterfall Workout at least, it, it's almost like we're just filling out blanks, to be honest. Like, we're pretty much good. Uh, we just have to give it to everyone because that's the definition of mastery. That's that's full completion. 1-0 is a good start. So our goal here is to win this match and then lose the next one. So it shouldn't be too bad. shouldn't be too hard. Uh, we're facing the beasts, so it should be very easy <laughs> in theory. I mean, they should roll us. Like, it should be absolute, like... We should be dumpstered. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It should be rough if everything goes well. And then we take on the Sykes, and ideally we win that. The Sykes are still a weird matchup. Like we could still lose uh, in that matchup. It's it's just it's just strange. I don't really know what to make of it. Uh, it's just weird. We don't always win, uh, and when we do win, it's not convincing. I think we were to overhead. You know, I should I should have done that. I should have visualed against the goers and then overhead against the Sykes to see if it changes anything. But I feel like an overhead would be easier. Or is two on the fangs. I mean, we ultimately don't care about the other bracket. Just assuming that the uh, whoever won, wins that, you know, fangs or glories, glories in this case, uh, assuming that they beat the Sykes, we're fine. Like if the Sykes beat them, then it gets weird because we got to take them on, right? Um, let's actually just leave this. I, I like the idea of... Um, of being a little bit fatigued, maybe getting like an injury or two. I mean, I don't think we're at risk of winning this match, but anything we can give for the uh, kill could be set the advantage. I mean, right off the bat, we we uh, we lose Bada, they lose Larbite, so it's kind of like a weird, weird situation. I think we could actually win this with no pressure, with extreme luck, to be honest. Like if we injured Larbite and then like Borja, like right off the bat and kept Bada uninjured. I think there's a world where we win. Um, I really hope we don't win this, though. No! Keepa made that. Keepa shot that and made that. Keepa shot that and made that. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Keepa made a goal. Dude's got like six shoot. It's all we put him up there. That's insane. He's channeling his inner Final Fantasy 10. Keep a keep a skills. He knows he can attain 99 shoot. He knows it in his soul. That is so funny. I I can't believe he he got that. It's harder to see in the overhead because that you know that that text moves so fast. But keep it with the goal. <laughs> Good for him. All right. Well, either way, now with that under our belt, let's uh, run some hot springs, some intensive care. Uh, now we got to get people back into the game, right? We got to get them recovered. We got to get them ready for a win, theoretically. Um, sure, that's fine. And then we'll put keep it in the goal. Uh, and I think everyone has their fatigue drop to zero. I could do like a pep talk, but I'm not too worried. I mean, I'm worried, but not worried enough to do that. Next is Beast vs. Gories, Us vs. Sykes. Again, trying to get Bada this prize. As needed. First is Beast vs. Gories. I don't know who wins this. Nine minutes in, no goals. And there it is. Glories take the win. Uh, it, it, that that's expected. I mean, they're supposed to win those matches. To be out, to be fair, it feels like they are at least. If you think of like the base beast team and base Glories team. 
which I know it's hard to think about them because it's been so long. Been, uh, how long has it been? Has it been over a year now? A year and a half, two years since we've seen them at base level? Um, maybe I'm, maybe I'm overestimating, but, um, it's been a minute. <laughs> so, yeah, they're, the traditionally they beat the, the beast. Looks like Dotto pressures, Dotto steals. That being said, at base level, I feel like there are times where the beasts can take on the Gories and win, but it's just, you wouldn't, you wouldn't bet money on it. It's kind of like the idea of like the, the goers can beat the Sykes. It's like it, they can, but like how often do we really see it, right? It's not very common. You got Bear challenging, Jossu will lose it. This is where I get worried. It's like the post play pre setup. Uh, if Keepa, I was gonna say, if Keepa blocks this but doesn't actually catch it, he could be in trouble. Bada being pursued. Pass to Volucha. Gotta get this ball out of here. We can't lose it to Eager here. Pass to Dotto. This is a good start. This is a good start of like getting this out of here. We don't want it here. We don't want to deal with it. Pass to Josu was an awful idea. Love that, love that game. Uh, definitely not gonna lose the ball. Pass to Letty, I just, ah oh man. I just feel like we give the opponent so much opportunity to steal the ball from us. Like we really just like dangle it in front of their face and like, hey, would you like this by the way? And sometimes they say yes, and they take it, and then they score, and then we lose, and then we're sad. Uh, looks like Jasu passed to Dotto. Dotto's gonna push right side, just keep on, you know, doing his thing. Walk it with the ball, walk it in possession, and if, honestly, if you can go get a corkscrew from here, I'll, I'd almost be okay with it. I'd almost be like, you know, you got, you got 61 shoot, that's pretty good, just go for it, right? Pass to Belucha. Man, that receive is just not up to par, or the pass from Dotto, or some something's something's amiss. Well, it looks like the receive for Lake Am also a little bit rough, as Beckham kind of takes my advice, goes for the corkscrew shot, pressure play, Mr. Mr. 56 shoot, Nimrod can't stop it. That's a two minute, 30 second goal. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Puts us in, in the lead. And I feel like if we ever lose against the Sykes, it's in a tie situation. It's like um, it's like OT happens. It's 0-0. Zero, zero, eight minutes in. We just can't figure it out and then we lose. I think if we because we're getting goals here, they don't they don't fight back. Like they, they're not they're not a high scoring team against us. So I think I think this is yeah, this is curtains. The show is over. Um it, I don't see them coming back from this. A 2-0? Come on. Come on. Pass to Judah. Fuck is this? Okay, okay, let's not let's not expend all our skill in this one match, okay? Let's leave some luck on the table for the next match we have against the Sykes. The inevitable next match. Because it feels like we're really going all out. We're really we're really applying the screws. Another corkscrew shot. I mean, absolutely incredible. See that fatigue tick up there. I guess I did tell him to apply pressure, and this is uh, this is this is a situation where I think the Albert Sykes feel the pressure. I mean, three goals up. Like, what happens here? What could possibly happen that's positive for the Albed Sykes? They are just absolutely... It, it's an absolute mismatch today. It isn't always that way. Oftentimes, they can threaten us. They can win games. We're favored, but they can win. Uh, but this is just a different day. It's it's our day, truly. Echo Pasadato. Passadato. 
Ooh, Dotto gets injured. Do the pass to Blappa. Pass to Jasu. And there it is. 3-0. Final score. Perfect. And with that, we are going to send Vada away. It's going really well. We've gotten a lot of prizes recently. This is another victory. Uh, but uh, either way, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And when you come back, I'm going to be playing more Blitzball. Until next time.